final thing I'd like to show you from this year's Ideal Home Show is this. A goodie bag that they were giving away for free. Which you may think is just a little bit of a, you know, it's going to be really boring, isn't it? It's going to be really dull. Well, for the most part, it kind of is. You've got some leaflets and kind of some magazine-y bits which we're not really interested in. Got some, uh, some more leaflets. We have some seeds, interestingly enough. We are over peas to meet you. Oh, so some uh, some pea shoots. Yeah, so some seeds. That's not too bad. It's very nice. Uh, interestingly, we have some creamy granola, which comes in a spoon. And um, add three spoons of water. No, no milk needed. That sounds fucking horrendous. Okay, let's to try this. So we open it up. Looks like it's got some uh, milk powder in there. Did you see that? I don't think you did. There we go. Looks like it's got some milk powder in there, strangely enough. So I'm going to go and add three spoons of water. And I'll be back in a second. If I can get into the bastard spoon. Fuck it, cut. Right. Three spoons of water has been added. Then we might just stir well and eat. This is odd. Yuck. Some kind of milk cheese. Okay, let's eat some. Kind of, uh, yeah, not very appetising. Whoops. Okay. It's actually not bad. Once you kind of get over the fact that it's made with water in cereal. I like that. I like it a lot. Hear me. So, more to do. More in here. A sample of Muscle Rescue, which I missed earlier. That's interesting. Ibar. Sounds like something from someone from Yorkshire would get. Hi, bar. Hi. Great tasting chocolate to help maintain healthy vision. So this is a chocolate bar that improves your eyesight. Seems to have gone a bit weird in transportation, unless they're supposed to look like that. So we have an eye bar. Eye. Uh, and for the first time ever, children can now say, fuck you mum, I don't need to eat carrots anymore, I can just eat some chocolate. Some incredibly bitter and quite unpleasant chocolate. In fact, I'd rather eat the fucking carrots. It's quite bitter. I don't know if I can taste maybe some mint in there. Maybe it's fucking carrot. No. No. Okay, what's the last surprise in our ideal home show goodie bag? Yes, you are seeing that correctly. It is some Jurex lube. They are giving away well, they were giving away, I don't know if they still are. The show is still going as I record this. Embrace pleasure gels. This is a goodie bag free to anybody who attends the ideal home show. Sex lube. And I just thought, when I got home, wow. I wonder if... The, I wonder if this is just like a one-off. I wonder if... And I wonder if they are choosy as to who they give it to. Well, as you can see from this tweet, they appear to be giving the lube, the sex lube, to 14-year-old girls. Hmm. Might want to rethink that one a little bit next year. I'm not sure giving sex lube to 14-year-old girls 
is a very smart and responsible thing to do. But, being the professional journalist that I am, I've already tried out the gel. And believe you me, it feels like your genitals are on fucking fire. So actually, maybe this is some sort of reverse psychology from Durex here. Maybe they are giving sex gel to little girls so that it puts them off sex for life. Rubbing it where they shouldn't be at 14 years old. And it's putting them off having anything anywhere near their genitals ever again. Maybe that's what they're doing. But as it stands, why they are giving away sex gel at a convention which is based around cooking the home, the garden, I have absolutely no idea. But to be fair, you could probably have sex in, in the garden, in the house. But not if you're 14. Consider it... Uh, a very strange choice from the Ideal Home Show. I've just realised they're giving away Muscle Rescue Cream. So uh, maybe that's to calm your soothing muscles after you've used all of your sex gel. Uh. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I think, is uh, I'm going to combine all of my, my haul from the Ideal Home Show. I'm going to bind everything together and see if we can make something that passes as some kind of also eye cream. So let's get to work on, on using everything that I've brought back from the Ideal Home Show. And let's, uh, let's put some sort of meal together. First we use the Wanky Whisk to make some pancake batter, which we then cook using the Diablo. We then make up some nice orange jelly in the jelly maker and make a mess all over the place. Place it all decoratively on the plate like you should have learnt at the Ideal Home Show. And top it all off with some nice warming sex lube. Then take off your trousers and have sex with it. <laughs> 